Pisces gang 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 what it do you guys it's your girl Empress 777 here today with a general message for my beautiful Pisces soul family I hope you guys are doing super fantastic I most certainly am holy angels and spirit guys please come through come through okay gives exactly what we need to know in addition to this pre-shuffle for my beautiful Pisces sun moon rising and Venus signs the messages are, in fact, general, guys, okay? Just take what resonates and leave the rest. Don't force anything to fit. Cross watchers, you are also welcome here, okay? Just place yourself where you belong in the storylines if you still find yourself to be lucky enough to deal with a Pisces, okay? So, very interesting. Somebody has been hit by the love bug. I feel like somebody has had a change of heart. This does feel like current or like loosely involved. I don't feel like this is somebody that's too far off in your past. I don't feel like for some of you, this person is in the past at all. I just feel like you started handling this person accordingly. So the two of you either started dating and you may have been a little bit more into this person than they were into you. And instead of you feeding more into that energy, you pulled back. Um, you started to match their efforts. You started to match their energy. Which, and the reason why I say that is because we have at the bottom of the deck, the messenger of fire which in this deck is the knight of wands so i feel like it started off fun it was a good time right the knight of wands can be looked at as a whole but i don't get like whole whoremonger energy from you or this person there could have just been an understanding i do feel like early on in the connection it feels like this person either thought OK, or it actually was true that you were developing feelings for them. OK, this is the king of wands. But if you could see, there's a heart there. So I feel like, yes, you were very much so confident. You very much so um, were not trying to force things, but you did feel feelings developing or at least they felt that way. So they feel like they were getting more from you early on in the connection. Um Whereas I feel like they were coming towards you as more of the nine of pentacles, which is like happily single, not really trying to rush things, being quite patient about where things are going. For some of you, you may even thought that this person was treating you like an option with the five of wands. Now, again, there's no betrayal here. I feel like there was just an understanding and somebody was showing up more than the other in the beginning. And now the roles have reversed. That is exactly what I'm feeling. OK, I feel like this knight of wands is now finding themselves in the king of wands energy. In fact, they're 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 leaning more towards pentacles than wands. So this could have started out very passionate. OK, there was a mutual attraction. I feel there still is that mutual attraction. Um, you will have to let me know down in the comments if this is a connection where the two of you had other energies involved, because we do have the five of wands here, which can signify a battle. It can signify having competition. It could signify having multiples fighting over one another, or it could just be energy fighting against each other. So it could be actual people that this person was entertaining or you were and the two of you had an understanding that you were just getting to know each other or that you were just friends with benefits you know just kind of we're, when we're together we're together when we're not we're not and you don't need to worry about what's going on when we're not together whoever it was that was indifferent in the beginning is now feeling the emotions at a higher capacity and more intensely in fact they don't like the fact that it now feels so easy going that it's so indifferent that it is what it is kind of energy this person kind of wants a title now they um are feeling the pressure in reference to the other individual potentially moving forward with somebody more seriously or getting involved emotionally elsewhere um moving towards a relationship i do feel like somebody is definitely fighting against their own urges but i feel like that's not going to go on for much longer we have cupid's arrow so this is somebody who feels like they were kind of hit with that bow and arrow right in their ass you know what i'm saying they feel like they got shocked into a connection into a relationship into feeling more connected to something than they ever thought that they would with the Ace of Pentacles, I feel like this person is now having these epiphanies, okay? Um, they're telling me to put the Ace of Pentacles in the middle of the Five of Swords and the Nine of Swords. So the Swords are entailing the cold energy that this person might feel from your end. 
They're wanting to soften you up a little bit. They are wanting to warm things up between the two of you once again so that they can feel confident enough to come to you with this kind of offer. Ace of Pentacles is not a shabby offer. It is big. It, it is somebody who is now recognizing the responsibility that they are will, willing to take on or that they want to take on. I feel like this person may have wanted to be single, but now that they see your value and now that they have developed these feelings for you, now that they see how the two of you interact with one another, now that they recognize that they have emotions for you, um, there is a little bit of possessiveness that's kind of brewing up within this person. I do get like um, sleepless nights. OK, some sleepless sleeplessness, restlessness is what they're saying. So tossing and turning. They may be dreaming, but it's not nightmares. I feel like what this person is dreaming about and why it's creating so much distress is because they may be dreaming about coming towards you with this ace of pentacles. And in their dream state, you, in fact, fought against that um, because they weren't giving you that energy initially. Maybe you don't feel that way anymore. So it is an internal battle that this person is unable to escape, whether they are awake in the 3D or whether they are um, emerged in this dream state, right? We have temptation over here and eight of swords. So what I get from the temptation card is this person is very much so tempted to come towards you, but they are wondering if this is real. Like, is this just infatuation? They also want to save face to some extent. I do feel as though they wish that they would have taken the opportunity to 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 um, reciprocate whatever energy you were giving them before versus what they feel like they're getting from you now. They feel like you're a little bit more distant, a little bit more cold, a little bit more detached. You may in fact be the, the type of person that's more patient now and they're wanting to, to go to the next level with you. I wonder what triggered this within this person, why they're finally um, acknowledging the, the feelings that they have for you or the desire that they have to move forward with you into something more serious. I feel like it was always there, but now there's like a temptation for them to put a put a move on it. Speed shit up. Could it be that they saw you with someone else or that they they think that there's competition on the field? For some of you, it might be you might be seeing multiple people. You may be seeing other people. You may be getting more serious elsewhere. And that's really triggering them. That could be really bothering them. If you are already fully engulfed in something else, in another connection, this person wants to tempt you to come over to the other side. They feel like they still have a connection to you. They do, in some ways, still feel like the two of you belong together. Um, they may really be regretful, like kicking themselves if they didn't move fast enough on this, right? If they if they move too slow on this thinking that they had all the time in the world to solidify things with you, that you would be single when they were ready, finally, and now you're not. So it could be a number of things that has led this person to be triggered into this um, clarity. I do get that these emotions that they have for you are genuine. I just feel like they were either refusing to acknowledge them in the past or purposefully fighting against them, right? In a battle with themselves and who they think they should be, right? What they actually feel versus who they think they need to show up as, okay? with the Knight of Wands. Now, for those of you who are resonating with the portion of this person friend zoning you or treating you like an option and you decided to move forward elsewhere, if you already have solidified a very strong and stable connection or relationship or one that you see a future with, somebody that you see a future with, if you're already engulfed dating someone seriously, this Ace of Pentacles signifies, you know, a, a structured, a secure connection, someone who is showing up with effort off the bat okay some of you that could be an earth sign capricorn taurus virgo if you are focused on that laser focused on that newer connection then this person is feeling that on a very deep level guys okay even if they don't actually know it to be true they may have dreamt of it and it really upset them right i can see somebody waking up in like a bit of a cold sweat I can see someone feeling like they can't seem to get that dream out of their head. It was just a dream, but it felt so real. For others of you, this is something that is potentially actually happening, unraveling, unfolding. It definitely is inflicting a wound, an internal wound on this person because they, they have no choice but to acknowledge that they messed with it, right? Like they, they played around with this or they took too long, right? They took your patience as uh, I'll always be there for you, right? Like I'll wait for you sort of thing. 
So they could have definitely pegged you wrong in thinking that you were so much into them, more so than they were into you, that they could go off and do their thing or see other people or just wait around or prioritize things over you and that when they were finally ready that you were so patient and so understanding because you were so into them that you would still be single and I feel like for some of you they're coming to realize that that is wrong I just saw 1010 so it is, it is a transformative energy that is approaching this person I'm not saying that they're going through a transformation but I am saying that they're learning a very valuable lesson right um, there's a bit of entitlement there. Now, that doesn't go to say that they're not going to still try. Even if you are fully involved with someone else, I feel like this person feels very much so attached to this. And they are, they are viewing themselves as more than just an ex from the past or somebody that you used to talk to. They feel like the two of you connected on a deeper level that you would at least be willing to hear them out. And they do feel like their offer is better than whoever might also be on the field. They're ready to fight now. So this is somebody who's changing, like doing a total 180. Now they're prepared to fight for you. When in the past, it was sort of like a, it is what it is. You know what I mean? So perhaps you not chasing this person or perhaps you not like um, nagging them about, why they weren't into you as much as, as you were or why they weren't showing up the same way or why things weren't progressing in a certain time frame or man, you didn't stress it. You were not sweating it. You were not pressed. <laughs> but this person is, I'm hearing they are panini pressed, bitch. There's like a, a jolt, a, cer a certain realization. Oh shit. Pisces is like moving the fuck on. Are you kidding me? I thought you loved me. I thought you were really like into me. And now you are, you haven't asked in a while, you know, to hang out. All of a sudden you're too busy for me, right? Like they may see you post it up online. If you are, if you are posting online, it's like whatever you are getting yourself into um, connection wise, it looks serious. Ace of Pentacles is a very serious connection, very serious offer. It's a, if it's a person, it is somebody who is stable. It is somebody who is ready. It's somebody who's ready to commit. It's somebody who is putting an effort almost immediately. If you put an Ace of Pentacles next to a King of Wands, the King of Wands, let alone a, a Knight of Wands, these look juvenile. You know what I mean? King of Wands, Knight of Wands next to an Ace of Pentacles looks very much so like it's for a child. It's child's play. It is, you know, teenage love affair. It's small fries, bitch. It's a happy meal. Okay. So even if you're not telling this person about who you are involved with, they either have this in their mind OK, because of how unserious you are being with them or because of how you switched up, you know, your engagement or your involvement or the way that they feel like you used to talk to them, the way that you used to um, potentially uh, be open for them or have access for them. They feel like all of that shit is changing. There's a shift in your energy and they either know for a fact it's another person or they think it is. And for them, it is triggering something within them. That's like, damn, I wasn't that serious. You know what I mean? I, I showed up thinking that everything was supposed to be my way. And now Pisces could have most certainly involved themselves with somebody who's actually that, you know what I mean? Who's actually doing the things that they were asking me for or potentially, right? I'm not saying this person is toxic, but they could have potentially tried to make it seem like you were asking for too much, right? Like, or we're adults, right? Like, let's just, let, we can decide what we're going to do and then we're not going to, we're not even going to revisit this, right? There's not a whole lot of communication or converse, conversing about what each person needs and how we're going to compromise on that. Lots of playful energy on this person's end. These are all things that they are thinking about. Their words, not mine, right? And they feel like now you're getting serious with somebody else. They feel like you didn't take them that serious, but they also did not present you with energy to take serious. What the fuck? Like, why would I take you serious? You showing up as the King of Wands, the Knight of Wands. To me, that's like a single. The, the King of Wands is a single king. Gender doesn't matter. Okay, single king, single queen is very much so single energy. And if we're going to add the nine of pentacles to that, that only pff, amplifies that about times a billion. So I feel like you had to fight with this person for like minimum shit, m minimal things. 
Look at this. I've prepared for you, right? So now they feel like somebody else is moving in on their turf that, you know, you got to give people a chance to change is the sort of energy that I'm hearing from this. They feel like they that the two of you may have started out when you were young or that they were just young minded, right? Like they matured since the two of you were actually seeing where things were going to go. They, they're they not really acknowledging that they fumbled, but all of the energy that is transpiring in this like middle section signifies that they have no choice but to recognize that they fumbled. So something tells me that this person just feels like you, you would have held on until they were ready. Could this be forever? Yeah. So they are wondering how, how serious you are with this new person, you guys. Okay. Now, if you're like, I haven't met anyone new yet, then they either feel this newer person approaching um, and that will happen very soon. Okay. Especially if you, they do consider you to be a spiritual connection. For them to continue to revisit this over the course of weeks, okay, for some of them months, they're moving very slow on this. They're not very confident in reference to how you're going to receive them just based on how they treated you or how they left you hanging, right? Or what they would have expressed that they wanted has now changed. They don't know if you're going to believe them or receive them in this way now, right? You may have solidified in your mind or made up in your mind radical acceptance. This is just somebody who was here for a good time, not a long time. That is the Knight of, of Wands, right? Just as soon as the fun happens, it's over, right? It fizzles out rather quickly. It is a passionate exertion of energy, okay? And it is nice to exchange, but then it's very quickly dwindles out. It's not that of a long lasting energy. It's not very much, it's not secure at all, actually. So this person is addressing all kinds of triggers, right? I feel like at the very forefront of their trigger is the fact that never know mind you how the two of you got here. They just can't believe that you're taking someone as serious as you are. And you have they don't feel like you looked at them that way. They don't feel like you treated them like marriage material or even brought up the notion. Um, they didn't bring it up either, though. So it's like, why aren't you holding yourself accountable? Ma'am, sir, brussis. I do get that they want to move forward with you now. They're not able to just walk away from this. They feel like they've been in preparation of coming back towards you. And it might be a, a, a big shocker for this person that you're taking. Yikes. What are you going to do? I mean, you had your chance. You don't always get to come back when you feel like it. What kind of entitlement is this? I feel like you're just supposed to be able to fall in love with somebody when you want to or that or you, everything is on your time. It's not. Newsflash. Sorry, not sorry. <laughs> they told me to put that right under the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like that is your new person really standing up to this person energetically that is all this is going on in the background right so you may have individuals who are fighting for your attention i feel like two in particular one old one new um the old person does not really have that big of a shot because for some of you, you may have made up in your mind that this is somebody who is for the streets this is somebody who likes to fuck multiple people this is somebody who who's not really ready for a relationship or at least that's what they said but they're they have changed their their entire view of relationships connection what that feels like what that looks like long term has changed they don't want to be a player no more so, yeah so this cupid's arrow card reads surprise and a surprise invitation and or meeting and they've been preparing for this right they've been strategizing but i feel like for some of them they're going to get molly whopped over the head with rejection because you're already taken or you're already seeing somebody and it feels serious enough to really not entertain the past they didn't really show you much that would make you think that they were ready for something like this, something more serious for what you were ready for now, what you were ready for before, but they weren't really ready for that at that time. Right. Um, their excuse is going to be that they, they just required patience, right? Like they needed time to grow. They needed a chance to change. They needed, you know, time to adapt. 
But I feel like what they were really doing was just pussyfooting around with this. Nine of Pentacles suggests somebody who is happily single. It doesn't suggest somebody who is preparing for a relationship or who's even looking for a relationship. Dare I say this person may have run out of people coming towards them. That doesn't mean that they don't have feelings for you. But I feel like all of the free time and the lack of bitches coming towards you, okay? The lack of dudes coming after you, ma'am, sir, bro, sis. I'm talking to your person now. The, the well has kind of run dry, has given them nothing but time to think about who really showed up, what connections actually mattered, had substance, helped them grow, were able to solidify some of these changes that they were maturing into and making. And now they have to face the fact that you might be gone forever. I'm hearing I was just playing around. I was going to get right back. This one may be a keeper. Hmm. And then we have let me in. Yeah. So they've been thinking heavy about this one, you guys. Okay. Um, I feel the shift. I believe it. But, you know, I mean, sometimes you don't get to redo something that you already had the opportunity to to have a chance at. You know, sometimes you only get one chance and it really depends on what it is that you feel for this person. Right. Like if you still have feelings for this individual, um, I am showing that they have leveled up. Right. That they're ready to, to make this something solid. It's really a matter of what you want, right? I feel like the new person um, kind of showed up doing what they needed to do on their end. Ace of Pentacles. That's a very solid beginning. Aces are about beginnings, so that's why I keep leading back to that Ace of Pentacles to signify and signal a new person okay an earth sign it looks like there's somebody who has a lot of fire in their chart um, they could have also hadn't had some fixed energy in there as well whether that be a Scorpio uh, Leo Aquarius that fixed energy is what had them so stubborn and kind of fighting against their urges to mature, to, to, to make something solid, to make something more secure, to move towards the, the emotions that they already felt enveloping, but instead they kind of fought against it. And now they're wanting you to let them in, but I feel like you let them in in the past and they just kind of kept you waiting. So this is going to surprise you, this resurgence. I feel that, you guys. I do. Um, we have bright moon, mm -hmm. silver lining, lucky, and options. See? And I feel like this person's options have kind of run out. It's giving them nothing but time to think. Does that mean that their feelings are not valid? No, but it's just like I feel, I feel as though it wouldn't be happening now. It would not be happening now if they hadn't run out of options. We have unicorn moon, ideas, dreams, and wishes fulfilled. They are definitely dreaming of you, okay? The dreams are not all great, though. I feel like in their dreams, they're able to see a newer energy approaching. Somebody who's more serious about you. Somebody who's 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 able to do more for you, honestly. And someone who might be a little bit older than you. They can teach you. They're, they're actually ready. Um... And because they're starting on a clean slate, unlike this person, there's more of this desire to see it through on your end. It's not there's not a, a taste in your mouth that feels um, there's not a bitterness that you have towards this person. There is no 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 issues from the past that need to be released and or worked through. It's just starting off on a clean slate. They haven't fucked up yet. Not like this person from the past. So these are all things that are going through their mind. But I feel like they're still preparing to move on this. They don't have a choice. In their mind, right? That's just how they're thinking. So we have Aurora Moon, Breakthrough, mm -hmm. Magic and Opening. And then lastly, we have Water Moon. Yep, that makes sense. Overwhelmed with feelings, immersed in the feelings, if you will. Um, really kicking themselves on this one, you guys, okay? Um, they knew that you were a keeper before. But they were having too much fun being single. They had a lot of resources that they were able to kind of tap into without actually having to commit to you. And for some of you, you were letting them in and giving them the resources that they would have gotten 
as your boyfriend, as your girlfriend, as your husband or your wife prior to the commitment ever happening. So they didn't really feel the need to have to change. Now, it's not until now they do feel threatened. They feel like their, their territory is being threatened. It's being trespassed on by this newer person. They do not like that shit at all. There's also a level of, like I said, entitlement, but also a little bit of selfishness there on the on this person's end because it's like they were off doing their own thing, potentially, you know, effing around with other people and multiple people and just living the single life, the bachelor, the bachelorette lifestyle, really enjoying the fruits of that. But what they expected you to just remain single and not satisfy your own needs. It's just like, why would why would you think that? <laughs> Why would you think that? So we have express your love. And that is what they're planning to do. Okay. It is safe for you to love. All right. It says open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. And then we have you deserve love. As well as this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Right. We have this one may be a keeper. And this could be the one. So this person is thinking long term. They are thinking more longevity. They they are feeling threatened by whoever the new people are or new person is. And I'm wondering what their intentions actually are. Is this just a temptation that they feel to come towards you because they feel like you're going to be moving on, that you're going to commit elsewhere? Um, they don't like the idea of you being with someone else, but are they going to step up and do it? Are they going to step up and do what they need to do in order to make this work? Like... That's really what is going to determine whether or not this is something that you should even pay attention to um, or consider at all. Um, so let's hop over to the extended. OK, if you've resonated with this message, we're going to dig in. We'll see where this is all leading. What? would happen if you decide to invest in this person coming back towards you they are saying all the right things are they truthful is it real or is it just a temptation a bitter um not a bitter a a a tempting offer because of their lack of being able to detach from something that they feel is theirs or is it genuine love right is it, have they actually been struck by cupid's arrow or are they just having a trauma response to to losing something that they thought was theirs. So right, that possessive quality. Um, so it's going to be really interesting to see where this all leads. Let's see if, if you be wasting your time going back towards this. We'll also see what the potential outcome is if you choose the old or if you choose the new, because you do have a choice here. All right, we'll get you some advice, among other things. We'll also get some timing cards and when all of this is happening um, so that you can be prepared um, and make the right informed decision for yourself okay so without further ado click the like button and the subscribe button as well as the notification bell i'm going to put the link for the extended reading down below in the description box and i'm going to see y'all over there so let's go